Hello guys, today we'll look at writing Python codes in PyCharm applications. Also we'll see how we can integrate our Python interpreter in PyCharm as well as uh, Microsoft Visual Studio. Uh, for that like first we'll go with PyCharm and we have the link here. I will post both the links in my description. You can directly go to the link and download the application from there. This is the link for PyCharm. So I will go and download it from the site. So just click the download button here. You have the option for professional and community. So since we are using free version, so it's uh, we'll go with the Python uh, a community version. So let's press the download button. And uh, once I think I already have a downloaded file here. I I have already have a downloaded file here. File here. Let us uh, use this py PyCharm for installing. So just click the next button. Uh, it will have a destination path. By default, let it, let it go. I need to create a desktop path. As well as I need to create an association .py. That's fine. And I will also uh, uh, update the environment path with our PyCharm path. So let's see. Next, install. Uh, this is an error. Like length of the path is bigger than 8192 byte. That should be fine. No issues. You can ignore it and you can go ahead. So it's finished and it says uh, to reboot now so better we'll reboot it and then we'll come back with the PyCharm application guys so system has been rebooted so let us see uh, how we can uh, set up the Python environment in uh, PyCharm So now like it says uh, if we had upgraded from uh, older version then we can config we can do the configuration installer folder from the previous one but since we don't have any older version so we are not going to do any import so just we'll go with do not import any settings next it is just uh, select the UI theme so whether you want uh, Darkula or Lie so we'll choose the basic one that's a Darkula it looks a uh, little good so and here I have two options that is for skip remaining and set defaults and next feature plugins. So we'll go with the skip remaining and set defaults because this is what we need. So now, now it says like we have three options create new project, open or get from version control. We don't have any older work projects and we don't have anything here. So we'll, we are going to create a new project. Here it says where you want to save your uh, PyCharm projects, the location. Say we will just provide some location as uh, test purpose, test location. Then this is the interpreter settings. That's a new environment using a virtual environment. Yes, virtual environment alone we need. Then uh, this is by default it will be there. And the base interpreter. If we have more Python installed, say 32, 64 bit, or 3.8, or any any other versions, then we will have a list of Python uh, exe. But since already I uh, only I have only 3.71 version here, so it says Python 3.71 path only. So let's start. Go with the create, and now you will be having this uh, loading test projects. So for the first time, it will take some time to do the default this says tip of the day if you want you can uh, view it every time if you, you can get all everyday new new tips whenever you open the PyCharm projects else if you don't want to see then you can go and don't show tips and close it so let us be patient it will take some time to create all the setups Uh, 
okay so we have a project created here Python projects test and uh, still it is running so let us wait for that so we have the Python interpreter here Python 3.7 we can see current interpreters okay I think we can create a new file here let us create a new file I will go with the new and I will go with a new python file so let us give you a python file name say sum I will create a basic at, uh, basic program that is for sum program and go with the sum Enter. so if you see sum.py has generated let us do some addition now underscore 1 is equal to 10 then we'll assign another variable as num underscore 2 is equal to 20 then we'll go with sum is equal to num underscore 1 plus num underscore 2 print so, so let us see whether it is running or not for the first time it will show it will be disabled here but you can have, a, have the run from option here right. I think we haven't done the edit configuration let us do the edit configuration part here uh, we, need to, we, need to, we need to get a new configuration we need to create a new configuration here so let us add a new configuration and the configuration is for python yes add it yep. so you can leave all blank and you can have this it's, it's all by default it will be here so you can just leave it like that just uh, continue with apply and then you can have the name unnamed as uh, test.py So let me run once again the same program. I have this sum test py. So we'll go with the sum and we'll see it's 30. So if you see the output here is 30 here. So this is how uh, we are working in PyCharm and uh, let us see how we can uh, import the modules here go to file then go to settings in the settings in the settings uh, move uh, to uh, build execution and deployment sorry not here it's in project test yeah it's in project test and then what is the interpreter here project interpreter so here you can see currently we have two packages installed there is pip and setup tools uh, let us try to install one more say we will search for open py excel open py excel yep this is what open py excel we have here let us install it we have the option for installation here uh, let us install it So you can see here it is running here. So let us wait for some time. Yep. So you can see like the package open by action has been installed successfully. Now let us move back and we can see the open by action has been added here. Now if you want to delete something from here, you can just click here and you can just subtract it so it will uninstall that particular module also if you want to change the UI theme you can go to settings and you can do all the UI, UI related activities here and all other other things so for appearance you can go for 
in appearance you can go for a, uh, this you can change the theme like what theme you want so it all depends on you how you want the control bar and all other options you can choose it from here so hope you have understood it if you have any doubts you can write down in the comments anyway i will be putting the link for pycharm in my description box if you have liked my video you can press like button always and uh, anyway you can subscribe my channel for more videos my next video will be like how to integrate python in microsoft visual studio thank you for watching